Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your mid-September general reading. Um, it's a general reading. It might resonate with you, might not, you know. I don't govern that. If it doesn't, it's okay. Move along. It's free. What you wasted nothing but time. Okay. And if you have a time machine, let me hold it. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Okay, so Aries, it's like so some of you you have like an inner knowing that somebody wants to come back and offer you something. Uh, a relationship, uh, marriage, or dating, whatever. And then some of you are trying to make moves in regards to career and finance, um, higher education, selling a home or buying a home. A lot of that's going on and that looks good for you. Um, some of you need to get second and third opinions in regards to health. You need to also look in, into alternative health uh, options, whatever that may mean for you. Some of you, you really need to deal with some some real issues surrounding forgiveness of a mother, past or here, still walking the earth. Some of you got some issues, you know, in regards to mom, some mommy issues. Okay, let's gonna start. All right, and there we are, the Eight of Swords. Some of you are really in heavy contemplation about one singular issue, and it just keeps going over and over in your mind. You're just wondering, is what is this about? You know, it could be in regards to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Six of Swords, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Eight of Cups. Some of you are moving this indecision in regards to moving some of you are waiting for a decision that sets you on a path of complete independence and it looks like you may get some good news to where you are in celebration about the fact that you can move you feel stuck and trapped where you are you're also thinking about one singular issue whatever that may be Some of you have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of, and this could be for if this is a relationship. Some of you are contemplating whether to be single and date and abandon the uh, relationship that you were trying to cultivate. Pretty much. And that's probably... Or some of you are. It's funny. None of your energy is here. No fire. Just a lot of thinking. A lot of, you know, manifestation of and uh, feelings here. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's decent. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some more messages for Aries. What else is going on with another set of mine? So, some of you, if you're, if you're moving or contemplating a move, it's happening. It is happening. Um, it looks like you're ready to. You you are ready. That's what I mean. Whatever that means for you. Uh, and some of you are contemplating being single. It's heavy. It's heavy energy. Two of Earth, you know. Two of Earth, someone's weighing up two very real options. Should I should I go back into this with the Nine of Fire, or should I just abandon? This all together go to the ten of fire and lay down the burden. Messenger of fire. This is also a quick, fast movement uh, of position, job, or home. A lot of times it's a home move. Will of fortune. It, it's destined to happen for you, Aries. Uh, things may seem up in the air for you as if someone just completely blew up your life. And you're just waiting for things to to change wait <laughs> and then waiting for things to change the, the hanging man or the hangman 
waiting for it. It's almost as if you're in suspended anim animation. You put everything you could put in order for things to go in the manner that you would like them to go. And now you just wait. And then we have the Eight of Swords and then the Nine of Swords. Um, heavy anxiety, sleepless, restless nights. Some of you have low energy. Some of you need to get blood work. Some of you, um, there, there are health related issues here. Some of you may be waiting for second and or third uh, opinions in regards to health. Let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here. It's pretty clean and clear in regards to um, my Aries. Like it's not all fugly. Dietary change, seeking and finding, motivation, volunteer, memories. Bottom of the deck, heavenly signs. Let's see, dietary change. It's pretty self explanatory. It talks about, of course, vegetarianism, veganism, pescatarianism. I mean, so many different things. Um, it doesn't have to be all at once. It could just be you, yeah, for your health, four of wands, dietary change, to get back to optimal health, whatever that means to you, get back to stability in your health, okay? Seeking and finding, somebody spying on you. Or you're spying on someone else, driving by somebody's house, seeking and finding Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Someone thinks that someone from the past wants to resurface because with you was good energy, was good chi, was good karma. With you brings fortune. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. It could be a fixed sign, uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. I don't know. It, it's somebody. Somebody. Um. They. You know. They. They kind of seeking and finding. They don't know if you're still single. Where you're still living. What. You, what are you doing? What's going on? Motivation. What should Aries have the motivation for? Motivation. Whoa, the Ten of Cups. To get this home, to have this home move, to have ultimate happiness, whatever that means for you, you have to be motivated. Um, this is good health to motivate yourself to make that dietary change if that is uh, a part of, you know, having good health in some manner. Motivation, Ten of Cups. Uh, motivate yourself to, uh, some of you, you need to spruce up your home. If you're trying to sell it, you need to do whatever you need to do to um, be a motivated seller. Okay. Volunteer. What are we volunteering? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. She is concerned. Ooh, then the Ace of Swords popped up. I was about to say it too, and that just confirms it. Three of Cups. I think this pretty much goes with memories. Um, bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands. Once again, moving, movement. Which direction? Which, you know, I am moving. Where, do, where am I moving to, though? You see? I'm going to take the... The... Um, the easy route, the one where the mountain is not there, or I'm going to go the hard way. I don't know. Anyhow, volunteer. The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you need to volunteer some information. People shouldn't have to ask this of you or um, try to extract extract this from you volunteer whatever that may be that could be in regards to relationship job how you feel about something volunteer the information 
also it's about doing your alms and and giving you know if you have it to give give if it's time energy money love um charity starts at home also volunteer memories three of cups So you just, you know, memories of the good times. Or you haven't, or you're making really good memories with friends right now. Friends, associates, family, just having a really good time. Or, you, or you're in memory about good times. Mem Some of these memories keep y'all tied to third party situations. Sorry to say it. Yeah. I mean, you can't do anything about that. You know, if you remember, you remember. But, um, if you try to come out of that and just really sit the three of cups twice. Okay. I gotta clarify that. I don't know why. Okay. Three of Cups and Memories. What is this? Like? Three of Cups and Memories. Okay, two cards. The Emperor You and the Ace of Okay. Um Yes. Mm. Okay, I just heard some of you have memories of um, oh okay, some of you have memories of some of you feel like things are out of control. You have memories of when things were in control. You're trying to regain that control, either in health, business. Some of you have memories of business, past business when it was good. Um, some of you are making memories, like you're having a really good time out with friends, family, associates. Um, Solidifying business. This could be business trips. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Memories. Sometimes you get some really good news. Something that's foundational in your life, and, and this will be a, a memory of a lifetime because you work really hard toward it, whatever that may be for you. Okay, let's move on. Angel Answers. This is the Angel Answers deck. If you have questions out there, formulate your questions. Here are your answers. Three answers, okay. Within the next few weeks, nice. A year from now, wow. Ask for help from others in the near future. You got something going on here and it really looks like a move. Some of you are like physically moving away from. Um, within the next few weeks, a year from now, things will be completely different. Ask for help from others in the near future so you get like two time three timelines within the next few weeks a year from now and in the near future something's good is something good is really stabilizing and happening for aries so that's really good to know um heavenly signs are here for you well you know okay aries um if this resonates with you please get in the comments and you know, share with all the good news and or what you've been working hard towards it looks like it's coming to you know, fruition or it's all culminating or, you know, it's just coming together. It's coming together. Um, request a personal reading. Go over to the website. Um, 
got new readings there, dating advice, relationship counseling, um, the yes or no spread. If you want to have a yes or no question, not an eight part question, it will not be honored. You will, your money will ret be returned to you and you can rethink your question. Yes or no question. Okay. Yes or no. All right. Take care, guys. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Um, I'll see you next month. Take care.